All right, guys, welcome back. So last time we worked on this final project, the PDF, PDF util, um, and we um, only wrote the first function of this application uh, that um, helps us to convert an image uh, in a PDF file. So um, let's review what we have done. So we imported some modules, so the PIL module, and from the PIL module we imported the image sub-module, then we imported the sub-process, the OS and Sys modules, and then we wrote the first um, function uh, that actually converts the image in a PDF file that we it will be useful uh, later when we will run uh, our whole script. So this function um, simply um, takes the image, it opens the image using the image uh, sub-module of the build module and it opens the image and then from it we split the text to uh, grab only the file name and separate it from the file extension and then we generate a new file name um, uh, using the this approach, so using the format method on the string, and we replaced uh, the f, which is the uh, file name here, um, with this uh, placeholder uh, to make the new file name. Then we convert the original image in RGB in case it's in a different format, and then we save the image uh, using the new file name, the one that we um, created up here. So what we have to do now is to write these more functions uh, to make our program uh, do the other uh, tasks. So merge the PDF files, compress them and compress all PDF files in a folder. Um, then we wrote this bit of code. So the actual um, loop that keeps um, asking us to uh, select one of these four options uh, to apply them on our files. So um, now what we should do is to get started um, making and writing some tests. So we should first write a test for this um, convert image to PDF uh, function so it's a unit test we will be using the unit test module uh, which comes from the standard Python um, in module library so it's integrated in Python and you don't have to install it and then let's first create a new folder and let's call it tests and then in here we will write the first test uh, that will be converting image to PDF test. I'm going to write uh, using a different convention. I'm going to write test uh, to append test before the actual name of the function that we are going to test and then PI and in this new file what we need to do is to first add a shebang so usr bin env python3 and then uh, we need to of course import the python module so the unit test module so import unit let's save this file first so we got the uh, this box that pops up and helps us and then after that we want to import from um, the app we want to import the convert we had that yes so from in from app we want to import convert image to PDF uh, this function so we can call it and make and write our first test case so let's write our first class 
so you remember how to write a class so there is a class keyword then we need to specify the name of the class and that's test class for the image to PDF and that's what I'm going to call it and then in here we need to use this sub the unit test module and the test case uh, and then in here we don't need the doc string here and we don't need the pass for now we can delete that so let's write the first um, let's write the first uh, test so we want to test that actually when we run this function we got as a result a pdf file so in this folder we called it images but we can remain rename it sample files that's more appropriate for what we are doing so we have a backflip.pdf and a backflip.jpg which is the, the result of calling this function uh, calling where is this calling this function so we need to define a function now I'm gonna call this function uh, test of course because we need to append the test word before uh, the actual function name otherwise it will not be run from uh, the unit by the unit test so in here we use the self and then what we should do here so we should have first a, a main image part so we want to grab the image part which in this case is, uh, is inside sample files slash forward slash backflip dot jpeg now so that's the part of the image that we are going to use to run our test um, using this convert image to pdf function so the expected the test case actually the test case is going to be the result of calling this function uh, with the image path so emg but so that should be our test case because we made the function so we are writing of course uh, white box tests uh, because we know how this works um, but so um, we want to check that uh, well it's a mix of white box and uh, black box because we have this function we know how it works but from what I recall uh, we have nothing I mean this function does not return anything so we should check that this function returns the actual PDF file so this file name so let's first write the test so we want to check that this test case what we should do is so we expect what we expect to find inside this part instead of a jpeg file that's going to be a PDF file so we want to ex we expect that the result of this of calling this function actually returns what we expect so on the same path so sample files we expect to see a backflip.pdf file so this function should return it of course so let's make our assertion self assert you can use assert equal for now 
or assert through and that checks that the expression is true so we could do test case and expected expect expected well actually well let's try it like that and we should probably use expect equal because we should check that this returns this so the same as this string of text that we are testing uh, so let's try to run this unit test first so we need to call okay we need to call the unit test dot main function to make the execution of this of this test case possible and now uh, from this folder make sure you are in the root folder of your project because otherwise if i'm not rem if i remember correctly uh, if you try to run this test uh, from inside the test folders, it won't work. So let's call Mansam unit test and then test. Yes. Okay. Um, so in this way, I run the unit test module, uh, all the tests inside the test folder using this um, command line command and our test fails because we have a session error known is not true which means that what is returned from what it is calling this function where it is so calling this test case is none so this is this returns none let's check the function and make some adjustments so we have no return statement here so we should have one return and we should return the file name that's the one that we generate here so we open the image we make the changes we grab the file path and the extension we replace the extension with .pdf then we convert and we save the file and then we close the file but here we say that we have a we should put this here and return the file name before closing the actual file let's try that of course there is no slash in front of the path because we are in the main folder okay now our test passes and it didn't pass before because we simply had some typos here in the uh, part of the folder of the test that we want to run uh, but just as a recap i'm happy to run the tests like that and for now it's fine we would maybe use a different way in the future but for now that's what we are going to do so um, we wrote our first test and now it passes if we uh, so why it passes because there is a backflip.pdf file here so if we delete that and we run our test again what's going to happen is that the test passes again because we have the backflip underscore um, back and it's gonna flip but that should be one word anyway dot pdf file here because when we call this function we actually call it and the file is generated and then we can check if this is uh, the accession is true so that's same as this one so the test case is equal to the test uh, what we expect from the test 
and so that's fine and that's it for this uh, test and it took us quite a lot of time because we made a few typos but that's what it is I mean sometimes uh, this kind of things happen so now we could move quickly to the other function and uh, write the merge PDF files so let's first write it uh, what it should do so what we should pass here so we should have um, of course a we should first grab the script that we should run and make a few changes so let me grab the website and um, the article on my website which is the ghost ghost script So here my website I wrote this article uh, which is what um, um, what inspires this application and this script that we want to use first is this is this one we want to use the ghost script to merge PDF files so we should grab this script so that's the script that we should use on the command line so let's copy our script here let's write a variable and in here let's type our script Okay, so that should be the script that we should run of course we can run the script only uh, using a sub process module so mm, as we see here we need the path where these files that we want to merge are located and then we need the name of the file so the output file hmm. let me think about that so we could do that in a couple of ways but the first thing that we need is the output file and uh, which is this string and then we need uh, the files to merge and what the one is the list and then now um, so we should grab what we should do so we have these files here and we need to uh, convert this script in something that we can run using the uh, Python sub process module which wants this script to be a list actually so we want this to be something like that gs and then minus the batch and so on until we reach this bit here hmm. 
so we need to convert this so first let's make a list of I mean we've got if this uh, function uh, wants a file list but these are not as list so we have the files to merge as a list but we should not pass them as a list to our function but as individual element with a space in the middle so that we can then transform everything in the list here so we should have like files and then we join the files so we join the elements in the list using a space so if we pass here list with these two names so that should do something like that if we have the files and they are equal to a list of files so the join method should add a space between here and transform this in a string concatenate a number of strings so he wants a he used the space to concatenate the elements in the table so that should do it now that should be up here so the first thing we want to do is have the files as a list as a string and we can add the print statement here files to merge and then format files so this should give us a string uh, which tells us what files are we are going to merge okay then We have the script and we need to change this script here so this script here needs to become so here we will use a placeholder to that we will replace with this output file and these two should be replaced with the files that we join here from the merge to uh, files to merge list so we use the format again and then we say output file and then files so like that we should have our script and can do something like that so the script that I'm going to run is and then the script uh, if I use another quotes I can go on a new line and see this on a separate line and uh, the format and then in here I uh, will type the script so this way we should have two debug lines that tells us what we are our program is doing when we run it so we know that by reading this line we know if this is grabbing the right files and it is running the right script then what we should do is to turn this string actually in a list so we can do command uh, script 
delete and we use a space because so everything in here should be split using a space and turned it in list so that's one element another 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 element and so on until the last and so we have our command let's add a new debug line also here to see if the script is if our command is correctly format so now what we should do is to run our command And since that is already a list, we know only well, we need to pass the command here. And what we should do also that will be useful when we write our test, like we did here, we should return the name of the file that we have generated. So we should return this file name. We should return the output file. So that should do it that should work we can test it before actually implementing it in our main function body so we will need to call it in case the user types 2 here so we should do it like that if it's equal to 2 then we want to run the function that we just created but for now we pass and let's um, let's see if we can quickly run a test so let's create a new test wrong file name pi and then let's grab this bit from here uh, we'll grab everything make the changes that I need so from here we need to grab the marriage PDF files and that we should call this test merge pdf files and then let's delete this bit of code let add pass keyword and then in here let's write our first test which should be um, so we want to assert that we have a merged file so we have So we have a test case that is boss made the screen bigger might be good. So the test case should be uh, our function match PDF files and then we need an output file. out file and then a list of files that we want to merge and we need to create them so we can do uh, out file which should be equal to so inside the sample files What we want to see is a merged PDF file and what it should merge. Let's uh, let's copy this uh, 
and let's do like that so we want to merge these two files which are the same every for each file has one image in it so we want to grab from the other test I want to grab this so I don't have to type it so I want to grab this and this other file copy so these two files should be what we want to merge so the list of files that we want to merge and these should be the output file uh, name to so merge.pdf so what we expect to see it's the output file we can do like another assert equal I'm running just simple test cases just to make sure that there is actually a file um, that we expect after we run this function uh, so we expect that this test case is equal to the out file actually um, let's run it and see if this function works um, we have a successfully running test cool so we see that the tests of output of course the two lines that we wrote in the file in the script inside the function so the script that i'm going to run is so this is the script that is running so it correctly uh, received the file name that we want to generate and the two files were correctly split and separated by a space so we need to also write another function another test to make sure that the name of the file doesn't have any space then we will do that uh, in the future but for now that's fine we need only to remember that the file name needs to be um, it doesn't have it cannot have any space in the middle so that's the other debug line that we wrote and that says that the command that is running is this one so let's check if the of course it's running successfully because we see this merged file and we see that each element that previously was separated by a space now has uh, its own place in the list so that's correct and that runs correctly so we can call it from our main function i guess now but of course so let's close this and close this let's check if the merged file is correct I'm opening the PDF file that it generated and let's see what's inside it's one and two right cool it uh, works perfectly uh, we have two pages one and two so it merged all the PDF files that we generated and so it works now what we need to do we need to call this function inside our main body uh, when the user clicks to so we need to call this but this one's an output file and the files to merge it should be a list and that's going to be the next uh, problem that we need to tackle how mm, should we do this part so we need an input 
and we can ask to the user to type the path where the PDF files are located. Okay, and save this in a variable. Then it gives us a part where it is. It gives us a part so we can print a message. Searching PDF files inside here. Hmm. And um, we need to grab this path and search for the files in it. So let's make a variable list PDF files and we need actually a way to grab only PDF files inside this um, folder because right now what we are going to get if we call a method to list all the files where is um, so list PDF files if I do OS part list no list there and then the PDF so that returns a list of files Let's exit after we run it. So let's try that. Of course, this is going to return every file, even this file here. So we type two. We type the part. So the part is. We typed the part here. Sample files. So you see here that we have JPEG files and PDF files, and but we only want to merge PDF files in this folder. Mm. Right. So now, um, as I said, we need to convert this uh, in just this. So what we want to grab is only the PDF file. So we should make probably an utility function that we can call somewhere here and grab only the PDF files. Hmm. So what we want to do is we wrote a function here convert image to PDF file merge pdf file and then we have these three functions and main but here
I need to write a function to get all PDF files as a as a list or from a part. So we have the part here, the user types it, gives a gives us a part that we want to grab all the PDF files inside this part. So we want to Hmm, loop over the files in the part so we can use this here where it is and we replace this so here we got all the files and we loop over them And we split again the file that we get. So we get to grab the file and the extension part using the OS part split text. Um, file. And we say that if E is equal to so we want to check only pdf files so if e is equal to a pdf file what we want to do we want to add it to a list empty list so we initialize an empty list here and then we say pdf append the what we append is to file so is if it's a pdf file we want to append it and then we return all the pdf files so this function uh, only grabs from a part the pdf files that it finds so let's copy the name quite long but i mean it's easy to read and if of course it explains what the function does so it's better to write that um, over an anonymous function that doesn't have any meaning i mean could write pdf files as a list but i mean get old pdf files as a list you read it and you understand what this function does and i think it's better so um, here instead of calling this function we need to call the other one and we pass pdf files path so in this way we save here in this variable the list of pdf files that we cropped from this path that the user type so the user type a password and then we uh, scan the part, uh, types of part, we scan the part and we grab from the part only the PDF files that we want and I mean all the PDF files and let's see what it does if it does it correctly so the part is this sample files we should remove the space oops again okay so now you see we only have inside this list the pdf files that we have in this folder so anything else with different file extension is excluded from our list and only grabbed uh, the PDF files. So now we need to merge them. So we have the files. We have the files. Um, and 
we need to merge them. So this function wants two parameters. One is the output file that the user should choose anyway. So we should ask to the user again to choose a file name output file is going to be the input that the user types final file okay and I could print and not a message here to check that helps us I mean at the bug line here that helps us to check if everything runs correctly and to say all files in will be in so The list of PDF files that we saved here is the list of files that we will merge into the output file that the user types. So we see something here and now we can call the PDF file the merge pdf file function with the pdf files part and output file nope um, that accepts two parameters and the list of files and the output file so not part but the files to merge so list of pdf files like that it should do the work when we call it and let's try that select two where are these files these files are in the sample files folder we grab these files and that's okay and all in pdf is going to be the name of the file that we want to generate and it's running a script but from what i see here the file is in the root folder it's not inside the sample files instead i want to save the file the final file back into the sample folder sample files folder let's first check if this is correctly merged I'm opening the file right now you should see three four four images and instead we got a blank file that's not what we want okay so that's not working correctly let's see why let's quit the program clear the screen besides this so um, we have that but it's a blank file and it's in the wrong part so let's delete that what we could do is change the part before calling the file the merge or we could say that the output file is actually and the list of pdf files because we if we look at what we got here where it is so it's merging these files so that's the files that he wants to merge and that is the so the pdf that defines and that's the name of the file that is merging 
So it's merging these three files. It's running this script. But here there is no file because it's supposed to be in the root of our project. So what we could do is change path using chdr method and to go up to the path where the user has all these files using the PDF files path. Now, if we run our code again, and say sample, sample files is grabbing these files inside the folder and the name of the, of the file that we want to generate is only in the PDF. Now, Let's see, we have the file correctly placed inside here, so inside the sample files, it's this one, all in PDF file, and it's running the same code here, but it should be running the code from this folder because it changed and that should work. Let's open it again see if there is actually what we expect to be inside this file I'm opening the PDF file and let's see if we got any luck yes we got four pages so first two images and then the other two images because inside this merged file that we merged so we, gen we merged three different files this one merged PDF which has two images and the other two files which have one image each so that's fine okay that's working correctly and that's it for this video I mean in the next video we will write some tests for uh, uh, the function that we just created so for this merge PDF file so we could also write uh, function a method oh god a test case for uh, this get all pdf files as a list so make sure that we get pdf files and they are as a list so we might do both in the next video and then we move forward uh, to point um, three compress pdf files and compress all pdfs and pdf uh, so point three and point four of our application and i'll see you there cheers guys